What's going on? It's your girl Ada, Dizza, aka the General. We're currently behind the scenes at Elegant Hutness Radio. And I got the one and only Tyler A himself in the building. What's good, baby? What's good? It's my girl right here. <laughs> <That's what's up. laughs> wipe yourself off, wipe yourself off. So, um, the first and foremost, uh, welcome, of course, behind the scenes with AD the General. Is this your first time being interviewed by AD the General? Hell yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I've been wanting this for a while. Have you? Cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's catch some of the people at home up a little bit on the history of Tyler A. So who is Tyler A? Tyler A is just a white kid from the suburbs trying to make it in this hip-hop game. That's what it is. <laughs> a white kid from the suburbs trying to make it in this hip-hop game. Awesome. So how old were you when you first started rapping? About 16, 17? Nah, 18. 18? So it's been like a year now since you've been rapping? A year and a half. A year and a half. And within that year and a half, you've actually managed to accomplish quite a load of wonderful things. Um, I like to think so. I, I like to think so, too. <laughs> I like to think so, too. You've managed to become the number eight artist um, on the Elegant Hutness Top Ten Artist of the Year countdown. Such an honor. It is. It really is. How did you feel when you when you found out you won number eight? I felt... Like, first of all, were you scared? Like... Nah. No? No. Okay. I felt like... It was a gratifying feeling. Because I felt like when I first entered the Elegant Hoodness, as you saw, when I performed... But you remember the first time I performed? Of course, yeah. So when, when I performed, it was like, silent. It was like, no one was like cheering, no mm -hmm. one was booing really. It was kind of just like silent. Mm -hmm. And after improving so much and to receive the number eight artist of the year out of 2,000 artists, real honor. Awesome. And very humbling feeling. Awesome. So... Awesome. So, okay. So, you got the number 8 artist of the year. You've been rapping a year and a half. Mm -hmm. You have a bunch of media on Do You. You have the recent uh, postings on Distance50.com. And JackDriller.com. And JackDriller.com. You're currently in the newest issue of Elegant Hoodness magazine. Yes, of sir. Of course, your girl A.Diza is on the cover. And, of course, Corey Guns. You're also on uh, the newest issue of 612 magazine. Well, oh, no, no. This is the newest issue. You're in the freeway issue. Yeah, the freeway. Freeway Ricky Ross issue, I'm sorry. But it's still 612 Magazine. Shout out to 612 Magazine. Um, you've done a bunch of radio shows, but met a bunch of personalities. You have a bunch of collaborations. Let's talk a little bit about some of those collaborations and how they came about. You have the International Nova uh, affiliation. How did that come about? You sent me a DTF radio. <laughs> I, sent, <laughs> I sent you a DTF radio. Yeah. And uh, you bumped into the International Nova. He was, same, the, he was on the same show. He was on the same show? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> on the Cypher show, that is. Yeah, Shots to Legacy, show. got 13, Ed, and yeah, that, Ace of Spades, and everybody over they're there. They're cool dudes. They're really cool dudes. They're cool dudes. That was your first radio interview. Yes. How was that? Met, it was good. It was good. I met Nova. It was crazy. You we, met Nova? He was, um, he was talking. He's like, yeah, I got two top 25 records in Germany and the UK. It's like... I was like to my little brother, like, I gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I ended up talking to him and, you know, we family from there. That's yeah. what's up. So, uh, meeting International Nova uh, spiraled into you meeting Tony Sunshine. Yes. Which was featured on your current new single entitled Right Here. Yeah. How was it being in the studio and collaborating with someone, you know, like Tony Sunshine, the, the living legend himself. Tony is a real professional. You talk about a dude that records a hook in 20 minutes mm -hmm. and he only spends like five to seven minutes writing it. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is just tracks on top of tracks on top of tracks through the melodies and the harmonies. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. He's a real professional. That's what's up. It's crazy. That's what's up. So you also have uh, a new tringle. Uh, yeah. With uh, CJ from Brooklyn, yeah, and uh, you know the phenomenal newcomer uh, Christian Dior. How did that come about? Well, like I well, CJ, it was at one of your events over the summer where I had actually brought Tony to that event, mm -hmm. where CJ gravitated towards me. He told the girls, "I like, think he towards that dude." So they come over to me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what was going on at first. He was like, mm -hmm. he's like, yeah, I want to collab. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's like, all right, meet me at the spot. I'm like, all right. So I throw my 16 on his song, You Bad. Mm -hmm. 
And after that, you know, he's like, you know, we family, whatever you need, I got you. So we talk like every other day mm-hmm. now. So he came and collaborated on my joint, If You Ain't With Me Now, mm-hmm. with Christian Dior, who I met through Nova. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, those are your two uh, current singles. So you have like a street single, and you have like what we call, I guess, like, you know, like a radio single kind sure. of out right now. Okay, so who else have you collaborated with? Shout out to uh, B. Morgan, I collaborated, Ryan Lane, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to think, <laughs> I mean, you know what it is, Tyler like, A has collaborated with you, and he forgot and said, I don't know, I'm sure he apologized. I do, I do. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, it's not so, even like that. So okay, so 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 this the, this right here is it an iTunes available for download or is it going to be in a part of a mixtape or? It's going to be part of another project. I'm trying to. I'm going to get some singles on you know, major distribution deals, and you know I got some of that in the works. Okay. So we're going to talk about buying music, but right now I'm really focusing on making the music and mm-hmm. getting the product out there and getting it right. Who have you opened up for so far? God. Corey Guns, DMC, Mr. Cheeks, uh, L'Oreal, who else? You know. You run these events. <laughs> you run these events. Well, so I, I, was just, I was just making sure you knew some of them. Nah, no. You know, I, 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 think, I think that the elegant hitting this artist is starting to become real spoiled. Do you feel a little spoiled? Just a little bit. You know, there's a lot of independent artists that don't even know the first thing about getting uh, uh, you know a feature on a Jack Drilla or getting you know an article on the Alabama's magazine or 612 or any of the publications how, how, how does it feel do you feel because you had that little story when you were at Starbucks and you felt like you, 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 you was like a star and stuff like how does, how does how are you are you kind of feeling that kind of way a little lately because people see you and people are like oh my god it's Tyler A like it's been a year and a half. Uh, I don't know how to feel. I just I'm thankful for the opportunities and that you've given me, and you know, shout out to Nova for giving me a few opportunities, but and we'll manage my PR, and you know, we working over here. So, uh, but I really have to thank you because without you, none of this would be possible. So, so what's next? The world. Let's get it. The world. <laughs> my, my next project's coming out uh, May 31st. We're having the release party June 7th. Y'all want to show up, you already know. AD is a VIP guest, so... Ask yourself, where's it going to be at? It's going to be at Simplicity Wine Bar and Lounge. But lo- lo- Lord, I'm, uh, they can't, they can't, you're mumbling, you're mumbling. Simplicity Wine Bar and Lounge. Where's that at? It's in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn? You can jump up in Brooklyn? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, a year from now, today, where do you see yourself? I see myself taking over the world at that point. Taking over the world at that point? And how are you taking over the world? Good music. Good music. Good music. And what is good music defined by Tyler A? You know, it's not, it's all about like quality. Like as long as you got something to say and you sound good, well, you make good music. I mean, I'm not very picky. I like all types of music. What's your favorite song that you've recorded so far? Does it have to be released? No. My private dancer joint. My other joint with Tony is dope. That's what's up. I haven't heard that joint yet. So On the new project? New project. Any new videos? Come. Coming. Awesome. Okay. Um, any shout outs? Yeah, you know, I want to shout out my mother for always being there for me. Shout out AD the General for being there since day one. Shout out my engineer and International Nova. Shout out Tony Sunshine for being such a good brother to me. Shout out my girl over there. Shout out <laughs> whatever. So I mean, shout out to everyone who supports me because without you, you know, I wouldn't be where I am. And shout out to the haters because you know, you're my motivation. Nice. Where can they reach you? At Tyler A Y V R U M everywhere. That's what it is. You can reach me at A the General. That's everywhere. Also. And they're currently logged into where? www.elgahoodness.com